Let's pick one very big issue, the competition, the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission under Baba Today Rukera late last year announced the opening of investigations into the activities of some of the biggest importers of power generation sets into the country. Over the past year, the FCCPC had moved against unwholesome practices across consumer goods, digital technology and other sectors. Now the executive vice chairman of the FCCPC, Batunde Rukera, joins me now from our Abuja studios for a look back 2022 and a moving forward 2023 conversation on this agency. Great having you in here this evening. Hope uh, we appreciate you uh, had a very nice holiday and it's good to have you here, sir. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you very much. We appreciate you making the time to come in at very short notice. Now, let's start from where you were wrapping up last year, those investigations into uh, the operations of those uh, uh, power generating companies. Tell me more about it. Well, so thank you. <clears throat> Over a period of several months, actually, we were gathering intelligence and intelligence led us to the conclusion, or at least a prima facie basis, that um, there was some conduct that was anti-competitive in a sensitive industry such as power, especially alternative power. And what we believe w is that um, there was some level of coordination amongst the big players who uh, play in the 20 to about uh, 200 kVA uh, generators. In addition to what seemed to be coordination, there were allegations of how they were procuring the equipment um, and what they were importing, whether they were importing exclusively completely knocked down parts um, with the duty-free waiver, or they were using those duty-free waivers to also import spare parts, which is prohibited and whether they were procuring from themselves, essentially engaging in illegal transfer pricing. And the evidence seemed to come together. And so we presented that to a court and the court granted us a, a warrant to search and seize. And so we executed uh, the warrant in simultaneous rates um, at the end of the year. We started analyzing the evidence. It's still at the early stages, um, but uh, some of the allegations are already being confirmed. Well, overall, how many investigations and enforcements did the FCCPC conduct in the past year and across what sectors? I remember quite well the aviation sector, uh, what it has to do with price gorge and things like that. Uh, quite a number um, in the fast moving uh, goods category, for, especially in foods. One of the big things we did was early in the year, we started engaging um, manufacturers about what we considered misleading, which is um, reducing volume and content without reducing packaging. By the end of the year, many of them had to retrofit equipment. And I'd say that that has moved on quite well. We closed a major investigation in the tobacco industry uh, with a consent order and a penalty. Um, and uh, for quite a bit of last year, starting about March all the way to the end of the year, we were engaged in digital um, lending and inappropriate conduct there. I'm proud to say that although the problem isn't over, but there's been a considerable reduction in at least the naming and shaming and the abuse of privacy. I were able to establish what really is an interim um, framework that uh, uh, and ensures that uh, digital lenders at least go through a process where we know who they are, where they are, and what their business is, and um, their business model. And going into this new year, we'll continue to enforce that. And we continue to the shipping investigation, and we continue to gather more information. We expect that to also close shortly. And we came to a considerable point in uh, investigation in uh, a social media, a large social media company. I believe in the first quarter of this year, um, that would also close. And that will be Nigeria's first shot at uh, engaging big tech in the regulatory space. Well, you, you're just talking a bit about your outlook for the new year, and I was just about to ask where the heavy lifting will be for your agency in the new year. 
in what sector, in what areas would that be in particular? And well, so then we have different priorities depending on what you say. With respect to consumer protection, we continue to be extremely concerned about distribution, power distribution. Uh, key areas there are, in spite of the years of effort with respect to estimated billing, we're still confronted with, with that. Um, also, with whether people are getting uh, uh, the amount of power required in the band that they're signed up for. And um, we're currently uh, engaged with respect to what appears to be I mean, tariff increases towards the end of the year without a method. And so that would take a lot of the first quarter. Uh, advocacy in the food and drug space would continue. Uh, collaboration with SON and NAFDAQ would be more important uh, through the year, and especially with respect to food security and uh, um, security of medicines. Uh, in the competition space, big pharma uh, is going to be a focus, and uh, we'll continue to monitor mergers and acquisition. I, I suppose because the African Continental Free Trade Agreement is coming up, we're beginning to see business combinations that potentially could uh, raise competition issues. And so we're refocusing our attention on the appropriate remedies when we're confronted with that. I'm pretty certain that um, um, there'll be more penalties this year, not because we're expecting people to do worse than they have before, but because uh, we're onboarding more and more of our um, regulatory tools in checking a cartel, price fixing, and other restraints to competition. A restrictive agreement uh, framework would also become operational, and so that should unlock some of the exclusivities that are inappropriate and uh, constituting a restraint to competition. Okay, uh, this is how we actually raising the cut in the new year with you. Thank you so much. We appreciate your chatting with us on what your NGSC uh, is doing and the outlook on the new year uh, 2023. Have a great evening. Bartoli Ruka, Executive Chairman at the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission, Abuja. Thank you so much. Have a great evening.